Hi guys, today's vlog is a special episode because I'll be operating my last long flight as a cabin crew. And I'll be operating to Copenhagen, which is about a 12 hour flight. And following that, there will be a transit immediately to Rome, another two hours. So yeah, I'll be operating two sectors at a go. It's time to go. So breakfast is provided for this hotel. I have a lot of things delivered. So let's take a look at what is provided. So I requested for hot tea. And uh, the first thing here is, oh, this is scrambled eggs with uh, bacon. And I have some ham and cheese. And next, this contains uh, some potatoes and uh, we have some uh, bread here and also what is this Ooh, croissants and, uh, what is this oh this is this is an omelette also provided me some yogurt. Okay, so I'm gonna... Oh, no fruits. So I'm going to uh, ration some of these, keep it in the fridge, so that I can have it for like a light lunch later. So as part of this last long flight vlog, I would like to share with you guys a few of my favourites and memorable flights. There's one place where I really wish to go before I joined the airlines and that will be the Maldives. And I will never get sick of going there. That destination will always be a place where I will go to sit by the beach, chill, go snorkeling with the fishes, sometimes spotting reef sharks, and exploring the resort for really nice spots to take photos. Well, I have to say that it was really an eye-opener. Having been there at least once has made one of my dreams come true. Without a doubt, it would have to be Japan. It is also my holiday destination every year. I'm kind of an 80% shopper and a 20% sightseeing. 
person. So if I were to pick a holiday destination in Japan, it will have to be Tokyo. Because the malls are usually within close proximity and it is very very efficient for me to buy stuff. So most of the time when we travel to Tokyo, because it is just a short stay of around 24 hours or less, most of us will proceed on time on target because there's tons to buy but so little time that we have. And once this pandemic ends, I will definitely return to Japan. Most memorable flight? There was this one flight which I really really enjoy a lot which is the Frankfurt New York flight. You know they say that it's the people who makes or breaks a trip. Is there such a saying? But you get the drift, right? What happened was three of my business class classmates were rostered on the same flight and we literally spent the seven days together. <laughs> We rented a car and went sightseeing in Frankfurt and I tell you we had so much fun together. And there was this time we chanced upon an attraction while we were driving from one destination to the next and I swear to you we knew nothing about this attraction. So what we did was we parked the car and we bought tickets and got on the ride. Hello! Hello. Slide! Don't need Don't need to go all the way to Zurich. Yes. Yeah. Hey look. No. How fast shall we go? No, not fast! I'm so tired! Alright, here we go! <laughs> In terms of most memorable flight, this would be the flight. Because you know, I mentioned that I'm not really a sightseeing person, but I really enjoyed it. So one of the perks I really enjoy from flying, being able to travel to Instagram worthy locations. I embark on photoshoot trips on my own, mainly to challenge myself to take better photos and also to be able to learn how to pose better. Even though after so long, I'm still naturally awkward at posing. So what I did was I bought a tripod and a mirrorless camera and I was ready to go. It can be pretty awkward because there will be people looking at me like why is this guy setting up a tripod, you know, uh, taking or rather focusing the lens on a backpack and then I will run in after I hit the shutter button and the timer will count down and then I will do my jump shots or I will just pose awkwardly. My skin is not that thick until I don't feel embarrassed but you know, for the sake of the gram, I just grip my teeth and just do it. So because I'm such a bad poser, right, I would usually stay at that spot for about 15 minutes just to get one or two shots which I will be satisfied, otherwise I will leave with regrets. So I'm glad that I will be leaving the airlines with all these good photo memories of my travels. Okay, so it's time to go to sleep and I really can't wait to go back to Singapore. Uh, but first, I have to conquer the two plus 12 hour flight again. Now that I think about it, right, this is the last time I'm gonna stay in a sponsored hotel and enjoy bathtubs. So, how do I really feel about leaving the airlines after about six years and eight months? Mm. I must say that I'm quite excited for what is ahead of me but uh, I'm really thankful to be given the opportunity to fly with Singapore Airlines and I want to thank uh, each and every one of you who have flown with me before and for especially, especially to the people who have taken care of me when I was very sick overseas. So there was this one incident where I was very sick at Christchurch. Uh, that was about like in my first few months of flying. By the time I came back from the clinic with my medication, the crew were actually waiting for me. So what happened was one of the senior crew actually made a porridge for me. Then I have the other senior crew standing beside me asking me, oh boy, what do you need? Do you need water? Uh, do you need uh, pepper, soy sauce for the porridge, make it taste better? 
and wow, I was really, really touched. And you know, I never forget them until this day. I still remember their names. So if you know who you are, thank you so much. I'll always remember the kind deeds that you have done for me. And to all my colleagues who are still flying, I wish for you to be safe and sound, be healthy and safe flight always. This is Flight Steward Jonathan signing off. Door this up. Looking for a reason to forgive you. Sometimes I even wanna be with you. Just the way you say that it's alright, alright now. I'm tired.